What's up everybody, this is Storm from Storm and Blackbird and this is a tutorial on how to get what the title says, the ENB series in Halo Custom Edition. So I first introduced these stuff right here. Right now we have Bloom. That's right. I've enabled and yes you're probably shitting on yourself what I did there. No it was not a video effect in the editing process. It was indeed real shit. It's called the ENB series and it definitely kicks ass. So I'm going to show you how to get it because I've been getting countless and countless messages about how to get it or what did I do there. So I'm making this video to tell you how to get it and how to install it properly before shit happens to you in your face. So first of all you want DirectX9C particularly I'm going to give you this link because you have to do these steps first to get it le legit or, one of you, or whatever these steps are called so you go to this part here to download now and don't get confused by all this yeah a lot of shit going on here it took me about 10 minutes to find the damn download link and such but it's actually right here so if you live in the US, North America, I don't know, go to here or global, just go here and you get a download link already Oops. and so once you got the EXE you get this once you start the EXE you get this and eventually you just have to accept damn toolbars, you don't need them. I don't know what baby loon is, it's probably some porn site. I don't know. No, I don't need it. Anyways, then you go to download. I don't need it anymore because I got it. There we go. So after download is done, you've got this. And basically it's the, the whole direct X thing. What you want to do is, well, you gotta cut it first and go to your installed folder. I installed here because the edition here, just new and fresh, just to get you what I'm getting at. And just put it right there. And we're not done yet. We're going to install it right here. And indeed, you just have to give that point to because it's obviously too blind to where you want to put it and it'll take a while to actually notice something here we go now you want it uh, right there your desktop damn it where the uh, I have to do this the hard way then so you go to C I don't no, just go to where your folder is. I'm getting a problem here. An unexpected one at the least. This is what happens when you install stuff on your desktop. It shit happens. Damn it, what the hell? I didn't where did I get the local? There we go, desktop. Right here. Yeah. Right there. Direct X, finally. And so we'll see what'll happen live. Everything will will pop up and just say yes to all you want the new stuff you got it it's like fisting a whale's asshole and you'll get your stuff and we're not done here yet you want to install this stuff so we're gonna install this stuff we get DirectX set up it's already there in the Halo CE DirectX folder don't know about that just accept all this shit You know it'll take a while, I don't know. We're gonna stay in the process before we find out that it actually tried to drive a dinosaur over my house. And for that matter I'll just drink some beer, I don't know what this is. I'm holding it in my hand without even watching it. Oh great, no it it smells like rum. Oh well. Cheers to whoever is watching this. God. 
There we go, it's starting. Now I'm filled up with all this stuff that poured, got poured into me. Anyways, it's getting everything under control here. As we see, it's already getting an erection here. It's about to complete an ejaculation. So don't worry about it. And it's going to get one. It's about to take place right here in front of us. Don't let it miss or it'll leave a mess. And bullseye. Mission accomplished, people. But it's not done yet. <coughs> no, we're definitely not done yet. We are about to witness more what it can handle here. This has never been done before. There we go, we're done. Obviously not. Well, this is obviously some crazy stuff here, huh? Let's do it. We're not done yet. Oh no. We're gonna get the ND series first. And it's right here. I'm gonna go in, I'm going to give you this link. You have to do these steps. Just to know that you can actually uh, do this stuff on your own in the future. So what you want to do is go on this side. And don't mind all this stuff here. You're gonna go to G GT GTA San Andreas. Don't worry about it. And so you've got all this stuff, but we need this one. Version 0.0074F. F means fuck you. Now then... We've got all of this stuff, but don't worry, we're gonna get the download for this one. And that's right here, just click on this shit. And so we got the file. Now we can cl finally close the browser, it's giving me a hell of a lot of RAM usage here. So what you wanna do is, ignore all the stuff except for these two files. And you'll just extract them somewhere where it's suitable there we go now where do you want to put this obviously right in your halo disk in your folder I mean we got these new stuff now you're set now we're gonna test it out a bit and see how it works and see how it actually works in game I'm gonna start in Windows mode here because in full screen uh, things will look fu funny in the recording session when I re <coughs> sorry when I record on the desktop. God, this rum rum is really biting the dust here. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go to Blood Gods. You can just notice everything here better. Slayer. Fuck the message. Alright, so this is still the normal Halo graphics, alright? And we're gonna change that. First, you gotta um, hold Shift and then F12. Bam, there we go. I know it's laggy because I'm on window mode and I hate window mode. But it obviously doesn't lag on your side of the story. Now, this is uh the bloom effects of course as you can see it's gloomy and bloomy and whatever shit you can call it yeah definitely something worthwhile uh, different from getting normal halo graphics and such and if you're wondering what the direct X step was for well on some cases your graphic cards won't handle this amazing shit so you've got to update it with this game on direct X direct X what do we call it so we got our jizz out here damn it I hit windowed mode next step if you oops false things 
let's just go with it. Anyways, if you want to edit your bloom settings, just go ahead and do it. Shadows and stuff. Water. Gamma. And so on and so on. It's really fun to configure all this stuff. Makes you want to test out your graphic settings and such and what you're capable of. If you have X-Fire on, then close it right away because that will negate the bloom effects on the DNB series and you can't start Halo CE on that condition because X-Fire just doesn't want to support bloom. Alternative, you can use Steam's uh, in-game shit. It works, It's a, they support bloom, no wonder. So you can use that. What's next is if you actually are bored with the normal bloom settings and you can get my settings. The one I use. Oops, hold on. The ones I use. Yes, we're gonna do this. It's bigger because what I wrote it in is more stuff. Right from, I guess, engine or bl motion blur. So I added motion blur, pixel lighting, depth of field, and plugin. This was mounted from Crisis. I saw these effects and I just put it in here. And I'm gonna show you what happened then. To just show you what kind of graphics I get, I, this is my standard here. Of course, use it, I use it for recording, gameplays, and such. All you saw is with is from this these configurations. Slayer. All right. Yeah. So. I put it on default so that you don't have to switch it on. Right now it's a normal Halo graphics and this is let's say mine. Now it doesn't really bloom much in your eyes and basically it will turn your Halo CE into crisis whatever you call it. It's just fucking colorful. More touch into it. Yeah, I have no life. I tested all of this just to get the right settings for this. And I'm happy for this. Alright, I'm gonna upload that file if you want it. And if you ever want to give a like for this video and share it to everyone who wants to play this game on some awesome graphics, then just share it, of course. And the NBA series is obviously meant for um, machinima making and for people who want to play this game with on a really powerful computer and and if you, they don't have X-Fire on a regular basis if you have X-Fire and play this game I, just, I obviously don't recommend this these settings to you just for that matter anyways I'm so from Swim Blackbird hope this helped you and see ya